So let's examine the following example that deals with RC circuits and discharging capacitors. So let's suppose a capacitor is fully charged as shown in the following diagram A. So we essentially take a battery with a voltage of 12 volts, we place it into our RC electric circuit and that battery essentially charges our capacitor. Now, when the capacitor is fully charged, it has a quantity of electric charge given by Q0, which is equal to 2 microcoulombs. Now, the capacitance of our capacitor is given by 30 microfarads, and the resistance on our resistor is equal to 20 ohms. Now, at time initial of zero seconds, we essentially take our battery and we remove our battery as shown in diagram B. And at that moment in time, our capacitor basically begins to discharge. So electrons begin to flow from our negative end to our positive end of our capacitor. And at that moment, let's calculate one and two. Now, in part one, we want to find the quantity of electric charge that is left on our capacitor after 0.001 seconds after t equals zero seconds. So, let's begin by calculating the time constant. The time constant of our capacitor is simply the product of the capacitance and the resistance, so R multiplied by C. So we're going to need to use this in just a moment. So 20 ohms multiplied by 30 times 10 to the negative 6 farads gives us 6 times 10 to the negative 4 seconds. So this is our time constant. It essentially tells us how long it takes our capacitor to discharge 63% of its electric charge. Now, let's move on to this step. So, we essentially take the equation that we were able to derive in the previous lecture, which tells us the quantity of charge Q that is left on our capacitor after some time t. So, we know what Q0 is. Q0 is simply equal to 2 microcoulombs, or equivalently, 2 times 10 to negative 6 coulombs. We know that the product RC, our time constant, is 6 times 10 to negative 4 seconds and T is given to be 0.001 seconds. So we plug those values into our equation and we get a charge of about 3.8 times 10 to negative 7 coulombs. So, this is basically the quantity of charge that is left on our capacitor after 0.001 seconds. Now, let's move on to part B, or part 2. Find how long it takes for the capacitor to discharge 99% of its electric charge. So, once again, we want to use this equation. But now, instead of solving for Q, we want to solve for T. So, we essentially take this equation, rearrange it, and solve for T. So, first step is we divide both sides by Q0. So now we have Q divided by Q0 is equal to e to the power of negative t divided by r multiplied by c. So once again, we want to take the natural log of both sides. So this becomes natural log of Q divided by Q0, and this becomes simply negative t divided by r times c. So now we solve for t, and we see that t is equal to negative of our time constant multiplied by natural log of Q divided by Q0. Now, we know what R times C is, it's this quantity, and we know what Q divided by Q0 is. Q divided by Q0 is simply the fractional ratio of how much electric charge is left on our capacitor, which is equal to 0.01, because 99% is 0.01. So, negative of this quantity multiplied by natural log of 0.01 gives us a positive value because natural log of this quantity is a negative quantity. So, we get 0.002 seconds. So, it takes this many seconds 
for our capacitor to discharge 99% of its electric charge. 